Hello friends, it's Boros Legendary this time for a new episode from the Road to Glory series with one big change in the club. We still have the same team except for one player we sold, Luis Felipe. And instead we did the SPC of Ramos here. Moments Ramos looking really amazing in the game and they changed his height again. He was 6'1 when I checked yesterday. Alright, he shrunk overnight but he still has some great stats and of course he's not gonna play uh, fullback, he's gonna be played the center back, we're gonna move him and switch with Emerson in game because he has the perfect stats uh, playing center back, uh, he's super pacey, defending is 90 plus pretty much and physicality is amazing and also since his pace is uh, sufficient we're using anchor instead of shadow to just uh, save some coins and also improve his physicality even more. So yes, Emerson here on 7 chemistry. They're just gonna switch in the game when we change game plans, but other than that, the team is pretty much the same, or it is the same, just one difference. We change uh, Vadislav back to basic. He had a glove previously, but he had a very bad period lately, so I had to just try to change something. That is why I went back here with basic. So let's see how that uh, works out. And well, still, Tay is uh, fantastic. Carlos also in shadow. He is, well, he's been very good lately, and also Alan, but in this first session though, first nine games that we will see here, I had his Nif instead of his Road to the Final, because I had to land some coins to my qualifier squad to play the E Champions League. But what happened though was that the E Champions League got cancelled due to the coronavirus, and actually the whole season got postponed the whole global series due to this freaking virus that we have on the bench as well. Corona, Simon Orsic. As Sanchez, Vidal and Nain Golan, some really, well, some real legends in the club. And also Orsic with his uh, latest upgrade from 84 to 86. So let's see if this uh, card can be better because the previous Orsic 84 did nothing for me. Absolutely nothing. And now let's check uh, the game plans. I also did uh, some changes. We have the main game plan here is a 4 2 3 1 uh, playing like this. Suppression, heavy touch, 5 5, balanced 5 5. And formations in the game we play Yellow Striker, of course, he is a beast. Neymar playing Cam, he is on 7 chemistry and also we have Atal and Vinicius on the wings and of course Alan and Blanc on the midfield and the difference this weekend is that I went back now trying balanced attack instead of getting behind simply because well I think you also have to change it up sometimes I got stuck in the same patterns with the getting behind that is why I want to just uh, well have some variation and uh, get back to default to see if I can find some new patterns in the attack yeah. and the rest here just default and uh, CDMs to cut passing lanes and cover center and this one they are on balance attack attacking support to create some more chances and also fullbacks to stay back but we do have one more variation of the 4-2-3-1 looking like this a bit more defensive balanced 5-2 and balanced 5-4 and in this one lineup is the same but the main difference is that we have a striker and cam come back on defense but just uh, these two, not uh, for the wings. And the biggest difference is that we have our CDMs on stay back. Also, we have kind of a plan B here, the 4-4-2, looking like this, uh, balance 5-5, balance 5-6. And also this weekend, the same. Uh, also, yeah, we're playing Yedo and Neymar striker, Atal Vinicius on the wings, just like we have with the 4-3-1. But yes, also this weekend, we're trying out balance attack instead of uh, getting behind. And also here, since uh, this is an attacking game plan, our CMs are on balance and also here cover center and fullbacks stay back. All right, let's check out the games here. No live reactions in this first session. Something happened with my audio file, but it will be fixed for next weekend for the two last episodes of this weekend. So yes, this first one, just gonna do a voice over. Hope that it's gonna work fine. And Neymar here, nice ball roll, great composure, scoring the first goal of this weekend league. And shortly after this uh, fake shot stop into Croqueta, we know that that is a great uh, combination. And we're finding here 2 0, and after this, it's gonna be a rage quit. After this, we have uh, Sorosh playing with the ones to watch Yedder. Also, that the shapeshifter Mondi is, of course, a great option. And like I said before, I'm starting to get tired of uh, Blanc here. Great first touch, but that finish is uh, really, really poor. And also, uh, considering that he has 86 finishing. I was a bit surprised, but the one guy that can finish is of course this Ben Yedo. Great the drive back, followed by this shot, and we're scoring the first one. And Yedo was not uh, done here, no. Alan here finding Blanc, and he just uh, does some nice turning with the left stick. And scoop turn into a shot. That is also a great uh, combination, of course, the scoop turn 
one of the most useful tricks in the box and yet again for his hat trick a rainbow flick he was full of confidence and we're finding here rage quit again 4-2 and oh Astro FC next up with Lineker also Rooney Acuna and Dele Ali on the midfield and also that Tierniko is always uh, a nightmare to face I really regret not doing that uh, SBC but here Neymar on the wing great uh, Elastico and then finding here Atal and he just gets uh, this rebound for the first one and Atal again every week and he just uh, keeps uh, taking my breath away how good he is for being 86 rated and well also for that the price tag Neymar here uh, from 11 meters and he finds uh, the left corner for 2 nil. and uh, lastly we're gonna do one more before this guy will rage quit as well and some space opens up for Yedo just uh, shooting here near post and we have a 3 and 0. Oh. Next up we have a spoiler here with the wants to watch Yedo, Awad, Hassan wants to watch and also here base icon Sedorf and Yedo playing center back and also Alisson in the net. Uh, but we gotta find uh, the first one here, Atal, great lofted through ball, double triangle and also Yedo finds uh, somehow uh, the foot on this ball despite having of course very short legs but this one though Ramos a bit of a disappointment uh, here though we could of course uh, press the standing tackle button to improve our, our chances to uh, tackle this ball but uh, still I was hoping for more from Ramos I did that SBC for well it was pricey and I had to sacrifice most of my club and also spending like 350k on top of that but there is time for him to impress me and I think that he will be amazing long term because on paper really he is one of the five best center backs in the game that is pretty much like a team of the season uh, Ramos uh, and well for that price tag still that is some incredible value and I think that uh, well <laughs> almost everyone should do that SPC and either play him on seven chemistry or just uh, swap him in the game with uh, some full back and okay next up we have Bayern forever using Iron Wright and also Paul Scholes and Giggs is actually past and present United squad but this first touch is unbelievable from Yedder just with that uh, R3 uh, clicking the right stick to make that the small flick up uh, but this guy he was uh, not the harmless Giggs here he does not luckily have the best finishing though and it's still 1-0 to us and Neymar here a great pass to Vinicius the drag back Trying to find uh, something and this is a, looks a bit clumsy but he finds a chance but he hits the post. Vinicius uh, so far had a really really tough uh, weekend but there's still composure in the box because the opponent will panic and just wait for the perfect timing. Some left stick dribbling and in the end a drag back to seal this deal. Next up is Street here using that the moments uh, Tresegui and the James Kante and also Riker there on the midfield and that new Akanji card. Maybe not the new exactly, but well, the level 30, that was a real grind. And Neymar here is showing some great qualities, great dribbling, but maybe one too many. But this guy, though, he will panic. And he triggered a sliding tackle here in the box, which will give us a pen. And I thought a red card, but the referee spared him this time. And this is a perfect one, having time with his run-up in the corner. He uh, simply cannot save this and also adding some green timing. It is not necessary. Uh, but well just for the joy and Neymar here nice uh, fake shot uh, speed boost and the rebound though Yedder has great tackles as well and he wins this ball back and finds 2-0 and here you're gonna see that this time though we will use the stand tackle button for that extra reach and Ramos is gonna show his uh, great qualities he's so so fast so agile and super strong and really has great tackling but this guy though he came back 2-1 and now it was the game on, but we have Atal and his passing is also amazing. And here the ball roll is the key to find that extra angle to open up uh, some uh, new possibilities simply. And Yedder shows that uh, great uh, composure. And also Roulette here, Vinicius. And this time though, even though missing, he gets the rebound and he can finally score his first one for this weekend. The next up we have FC Mo here using an old Philippe Anderson and also Kubo there. On the wing with moments uh, Banega and also moments Arthur also playing there with uh, Juan Jesus and 81 Militao well might be a bit outdated but let's see Alan here trying something on the wing this guy was actually super compact we're trying to find this pass back and we're finding of course Reals but Atal has to be MVP in so many games 
and also your Neymar. And this was actually after switching to 4-4-2, so we created nothing in the first 40 minutes using 4-3-1, but we have our plan B, 4-4-2, and we scored two quick goals instantly. Time for Highbury FC. This guy did some Player of the Month SBCs, Mani Aguero. Also has that Hellers Salah and he picked Kovacic uh, from the season pass. And Natalia is showing some uh, great defense as well. Super versatile, of course. And here a counterattack, a chance for Vinicius. Uh, Want to find something back, uh, but there is nothing showing here. Just waiting, waiting, waiting. But Keane is going to save this one up. And uh, well, in this game, we had uh, really problems to create chances. And also, you can see here that Emerson on seven chemistry is perfectly fine. I really could not tell any difference. And the 61 minutes on the clock is still nothing. His keen was uh, immense on the midfield. And we're just uh, trying to create something, but uh, we simply cannot. And also, here a triple substitution. We have Sanchez, Tecatito, and this new upgraded Orsic. Orsic with upgrade. He gets the rebound. Force a weak foot, and he's scoring his uh, first goal for the club. It's, I guess that, uh, well, this upgrade was all he needed to uh, become lethal. And also here a great uh, interception from him. And after this, we're not going to lose. Uh, simply, we're just going to keep the ball here for the last minutes. Uh, just experience from Tecatito, the virus. And last game, we have a Skoistrup using player of the month. Yeder and also Crespo and wants to watch Frankie. And also that 83, Adama Traori. And though in this game, we're going to show him a special trick. Our favorite, that the lofted pass flick up. And Yeder just uh, not doing this once. We're going to see here soon again how he does it and this time from the wing we have uh, Vinicius uh, speed boost finding it back here to Blanc in the middle trying to just find this pass into the box and we have Lofted and here it starts just right stick flicking R3, R3 while moving that uh, left stick and I have a special dedicated t uh, tutorial about this trick if you want to see exactly how it works and we do it twice in uh, this game and it will in the end piss this guy off and he will Rage quit for a perfect finish, 9-0. and oh. Okay, that was a perfect start, 9-0, and, and we're gonna see how this uh, will finish next weekend in two episodes, Wednesday and Thursday. And also on Tuesday, you will see a special video from Weekend League on Xbox using a very special squad. And as always, you can see this live this weekend on Twitch. The link is down below. That's it uh, for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, you know, until next time, take care.